I, I, I can't hear you. I said I'm not afraid. Is that a mouse or a lion? What'd you say? I said I'm not afraid. Louder, little man. I said... We don't have any time for halfway living. We only have this life that we've been given. We're gonna twist the key in up ignition and ride this till the wheels go. Your, your rapping and your singing, all of that was very, very impressive to me. And I'm wondering, did you already know how to do all that before the film started or did you develop that? I'm sure uh, Utkarsh is a great coach in that regard, but how, what does your musical journey look like? So I started singing when I was three. I also play you know, piano, guitar, drums, bass. Um, but before the movie shoot, like, you know, I, I had never rapped before. That was my very first time. So, uh, yeah, it it took a bit uh, to, like, you know, get used to it. But I guess my previous uh, musical experience helped a lot. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like you got to practice it till it feels like breathing, till you're riding that line when you're halfway there and halfway to infinity. And then the world's best never rest, really understanding what that means. Like when we're young and, you know, it sounds like you and I might have the same upbringing, you're sort of like, pressured maybe into um, performing at the highest level you can. And at times you sacrifice your self-esteem, your confidence, other areas of life, social skills, because you're trying so hard to fit into something that somebody wants for you. And this movie is trying to take that idea of being the best and really personalizing it. So it's your own unique experience of what brings you the most joy in life. And if you're doing that, you're doing your best. I want to talk about building rapport with these characters, right? Like I love Punam. I was very excited to see her play your mom in this and having this imaginary number as your dad is a very interesting concept too. At, at the beginning, Prem is kind of surprised and not really used to how to act, I guess, in front of his dad because, you know, he's never really had that much of like a father figure for a good portion of his life so um yeah but then i guess as it goes on the story uh you know they start to build a better relationship yeah i guess he was more he he was more of just a tool to really uh fix not fix but you know just rekindle the relationship between um you know his mother I think, yes. I mean, it's the best version of what a kid dreams that his parent will be, right? And at the beginning of the movie, he has this very clear idea of what he thinks his dad is mm -hmm. and why he's that way. And as the film progresses, we start to learn the real truth, right? His father w was a certain, he was not the, the person that um, Prem envisioned, for better or worse, but he's still, you know, so the lesson to teach is not like be the pinnacle. It's more just like be comfortable in your own skin, love who you are so that you can love others. And I, I think, you know, if, if we could create, like like Manny said, sort of a, a, a character that could help our hero discover that, then that, that's sort of Suresh's um, purpose in this film. It looks like that is going to be our time today. But gentlemen, it's it's such a good movie and it felt good. And I love how it subverted your, the expectation of what you think is going to happen. Uh, and you both did an excellent job. And I have to say, Utkarsh, I'm so excited to see you be boomy later on hey. uh, in the future. I'm ready for it, man. But thank I you just, both for your time today. I just did some ADR yesterday. It looks really good. Oh, man. That sounds... <laughs> that's next up is team. Nightcrawler. That's next on my list behind you. Hey, there it is. We got Appa and Nightcrawler. We're ready put to it, go. Put it into the universe. We'll manifest for you, man. I would hey. love to see a Desi Nightcrawler. That's awesome. <laughs> And it is Prem Patel at the buzzer. Do you believe in miracles? Happy first day of seventh grade. Did you have another math dream? Yep. Did you win? Yep. Nice. One. Here comes the two to the three and four. I'm so excited. This year we have some 12-year-olds joining our high school class. Who's ready to get mathinated? <laughs> I actually need some help with something. It's about Dad. I miss him too, Prim. I'll never know who I am unless I know who he was. Your father had a real way with words. Wait, Dad was a rapper? For real? What's his name? Probably haven't heard of him. He died when I was five. Hi. Ah! Ah! Wait, why are we yelling? Dad? Seth. Are you a ghost? 
a go. No. I'm too old for an imaginary friend. Well, you're too young for a midlife crisis, but here we are. Who is Rain Patel? We don't have any time for halfway living. We That's not me. I can't rap. Why not? Hip hop is in your DNA. This is still the real school Miss Mathol thinks he's a rapper now. We only have this life that we've been given. We you're good in school, but in the real world, you'll always be a loser. <laughs> hey, truth is, bullies are afraid of dreamers. Okay, got a lot to say. I stay up and I'm you're not a rapper, Bream. You love math. This matters to me. This is inside you. Wow! Riding in cars with high schoolers? <gasps> Do they vape? No matter where we go. Just do you. Do your best. That's what's important. World's best, yeah.